Hi, Cubs and parents. I, this is my instruction video on how, um, from this point on, that you can get to the Teleschool files. Now, you can always go to the school website that they've sent that link out a lot, but um, it is also right here. So here I am. At, this is what my class story looks like. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out of my teacher view, and I'm going to log into my parent view that I have for Lloyd. Well, log in. So while I do that, um, I want to go ahead and say that thank you to those parents who responded to my um, my poll. I really, really appreciate it. Um, what it allowed me to do is to see that um, out of all the people, I think all but one said that they they're used to this format. Stick with this format. So I'll continue posting in the format that I have been where I post the morning meeting message, the explanation video, um, which I might not do as often, um, mainly because there is an explanation video um, that most of the teachers put in there, but I might do it at the end of the morning meeting now. And then of course the read aloud and the shared reading video. So I wanna take you through this document because it's a little bit different, but mostly the same. Okay, so here we are, this is my, my parent view. If I scroll down here where it says upcoming events, if I click and it's down here too, view events, um, it's got this that says multi-day work. When I click on that, it takes me here. That also takes me to the link. I'm going to open that in a new tab of the website for all of the telework files, which I just made our website because I also have the advanced math and the advanced and accelerated reading file on there, as well as the Spanish document. So if you need it in Espanol, uh, that's there too. So when I click on this, again, I wanna show you that one more time, so I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says upcoming events, like multi-day, I'm gonna click that, and then when I click that, it's gonna take me here. And when I go there, then I click this link that it's got all the files, all right? It's also our class website. Um, that's what I've linked on the homework side. So when I come here um, to the welcome, it doesn't take me there, but it'll, if I click on homework, then it'll take me there. Um, that link, this link right here, just takes me directly to the homework page. So that's what'll pop up for you. Um, as you can see, uh, here are the week, the teleschool work files. So I'm going to click on them so you can see each different one. So first of all, I'm going to click on this first one that says color version. This is the version that matches, uh, you know, I like a little color. So this is this version. All right. Um, you, when you look, you can see that there are lots and lots of, um, links and when you click on those links as you can see it just oops it just opened sorry um when you click on those links for example and i'm going to open this in a new tab when i click here it opens that link for me so as long as you're going through the computer it's going to take you directly to where you want to go and these are the um lessons that your children a lot of times will follow or it has step-by-step -step instructions. So we're trying to start to teach new content this week and your child will learn new content from not just me, but other second grade teachers. Um, like here you can say that this is kind of see that this is Miss Shouter in the corner who is who's teaching this math lesson, this second grade math lesson. Um, if I go back to this file again, it's got my, the work. It'll tell you what the activity is for each day. And then it'll also tell you, like, give. sometimes it'll give you uh, optional extra assignments if you really want your child to do another assignment. Um, again, those are, if they're blue or purple, they're hyperlinked. So they'll take you to a place. All right. Um, here, so that's kind of the format, the new format. There's what you're doing for each day. Notice that on Monday and on um, I'm touching the screen, not that you can see this. So notice on Monday, and um, we have reading and then we have math, all right? On Tuesday, we don't have reading and math. We have writing and social studies, all right? On Wednesday, we have uh, phonics and math. So it's a little different. And on Thursday, we have writing and social studies again. And finally, on Friday, we have reading and math. So 
your child is learning different content for each day of the week, but there's still only two um, subjects to focus on. So like before there was language arts and there's STEM. There's only two subjects we're focusing on. Um, like I said, if you click on any of these links, it'll take as long as you have it open in a computer, it's going to take you straight there. OK, so Monday on this is my telework document, but on, green is Monday. Obviously, blue is Tuesday. I like to color code things. <laughs> Wednesday is purple. Uh, Thursday is pink and Friday is orange. All right. So that's the teleschool file. Now, again, if I I'm going to if I am here. And I click on this link that says Teleschool Checkbox version. This is the version that you will find on the Woodland website. And it looks kind of like this. It's the same exact information. The only difference is the formatting. Um, there's a little checkbox. So if you, if you print this from online, this might be the version you want. Because there's a little checkbox. All right. Um, so that's those two. Uh, this next one is for advanced. It says advanced math, but it's also reading. So I will change that in a moment. So if you click on this, it will take you to this document, which says advanced or accelerated reading and advanced math tasks for week three. Now, this is important to those students who are advanced or accelerated reading or advanced math. Please, 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 please. Please do not do this in addition to your activities. Um, this is supposed to be to replace your activities. Ideally, in the best situation, um, these tasks will take you about 30 minutes each or an hour for both. If you're doing these activities and the regular second grade math activities, they're going to take you way longer than that. And that's not what we want. So if I, you know, first of all, 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 if you've been doing math this whole time, advanced math students, you know who you are. That is Srivatsa, that is Shreya, that is Mason, that is Cameron. All right. They, this is your advanced math work for the week. Okay. It's got your lesson to watch. Um, it's got your word problems. If I click on this. So for whatever reason, it's not working and I'll figure out why that is and I'll upload the change uh, in a little while. OK, I actually know exactly why it's not working. Um, I uploaded the old version. So when you click on this, it will take you to a link. Same thing here. Um, if you are in uh, Daring or Excellent, I would like for you to do this advanced or ex an accelerated reading. Um, if you are in the cool group, you may do this instead of your other reading. It's kind of your choice because both of those groups have talked about main idea. All right. And those are the groups that would probably have this work in reading group. OK, so again, this advanced accelerated reading side, if you're in da daring or excellent, I definitely want you to do this, this, this work. If you are in cool, it is your choice. Um, students should know which the reading group is. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can let me know. But typically, if your child is reading at an O or above, then this is the, this is work for them because that's a, those are third grade levels. All right. OK, so that explains advanced and accelerated. And then finally, right here, we have a file in Spanish. It looks like the original version, but here it is. It is. Um, a file in Spanish, the the um, in case you need a file in Spanish to explain the work to you. Okay, now really, really super quickly, I just want to explain today's work because that was me explaining how to get to the video. So today for reading, if you look at the reading for on level mat, on level reading, um, second grade reading, you're gonna watch a video um, reading nonfiction on Brain Pop Junior. You get to it through Mac and Via, all right? And you, you've used Mac and Via so much, I believe that you totally know how to do it. And then it says read the book Bees Matter on Mac and Via. Now, I will say that if you have, um, if there's a lot of people who've checked out that book, it might not be available, but I think that this one is okay. So you're going to click on that. You're going to read that book, and then you're going to answer these questions about the book on a piece of paper. Um, and I, and it, I think, pretty sure it's about 
nonfiction text features and things like that. So again, you're going to read the book and you're going to answer these three questions on a separate piece of paper, take a picture and upload to Class Dojo, obviously. Okay. On level second grade math is going to come here. They're going to watch this lesson video on quadrilaterals where the teacher will teach you. And I believe that teacher is Ms. Shouter. Then they're going to do this activity where they find triangles and quadrilaterals around your home. You're going to draw pictures of the shapes and listed the examples you found. So example, if I, oh, I see right now I have this. It is a pad of paper and it is in the shape of a, oops, trying to get a rectangle. So on my paper, I would draw a rectangle and I would write notepad. So I might do this. It's so funny that I'm going to do this on the notepad. Like this. And then I would say rectangle. And of course, a rectangle is a quadrilateral, right? You'll find that on the video. Like this. And then I would just do that again and again and again until I'm done. All right. There's an optional thing that you can do in addition if your your, your parent just wants you to do some more work. You can click on these links and you can go to some more work. All right. Oops, it's going to take me there. I accidentally clicked on it. So there's some more work, but that's stuff you probably to print out. All right. So that is on level math activities for this week. If I go to advanced math activities the week, you're going to watch this main idea lesson with Miss Cannelberry. Um, then you're going to read the passage when you click here. Excuse me. It'll take you to a separate passage of a, a reading passage. And then you're going to answer these questions and upload your work to answer the questions here and then upload your work to Class Dojo Portfolio. Here in Advanced Math, you're going to watch this multi-operation word problems lesson, again with Ms. Candleberry. On a piece of paper, you're going to solve the word problems that are found at the link. And then you're going to show, make sure you show your strategy work, okay? And you're going to upload your work to Class Dojo Portfolio. Um, hopefully that explains everything. Um, I will also put on the resource page a little later today, if you click on resources, I will also put, this is coming, this is where I'm going to put the links to the videos. Now, again, you can get to them from here, but I'll go ahead and put the links to the videos should something happen um, and you want a link to the videos. Or probably this is going to be more likely, I take that back, these links for your lessons will be here in the telework files. However, the links that I send out for shared reading and read aloud um, and these instruction videos will be here. Okay. All right, guys. Have and they of course will also be on Dojo Online. This is just a backup in case something's happening and Dojo is weird and you can't get to the videos. Um, you can you can do that. All right. I can't wait to see your work, Cubs. Parents, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Um, hopefully it was all pretty straightforward. <laughs> all right. Have a great day.